everybody and welcome back this is the fifth edition of bits and bobs and surprises and I take this opportunity to just show you some things that have caught my eye this includes some updates and uh, Siliano in the background protesting yeah it's his turn next in the meantime what I'm just showing you is not orchid related but it is one of my plants that I have here, like a big bush, but they're in pots. Not, I don't have a garden as such, which I grow in memory of my son, because these are the kind of plants that we always used to have around on the golf courses that we played together. And yeah, maybe you'll see a lot of distortions right now, but I just wanted to share this with you because she is coming, or they are coming into their prime at this moment. They get long and lengthy and straggly, but this is their time when the flower spikes that are sequential are still very close to the foliage. And I absolutely adore this plant. It attracts pollinators and it reminds me of my golfing days with my son. But there is another kind of pink I very much enjoy watching grow. This is my Cattleya Moscombe or Moscombe. I don't see an accent, so I call it Moscombe. And look at the new growth. I was showing you a new growth uh, earlier on in the year. I'll dig out the video and put it up as a card when it was still teeny tiny. I was also showing you how I burnt the variegation twice and didn't one time so one on one off one burnt and you can see how deep in the shade this is now growing in my prime real estate location it is extremely shady here and look at how beautiful i love how these variegated orchids come out pink as they grow it will eventually fade but i think that's absolutely stunning and this new growth being so shaded will not burn However, will it bloom? I don't know. With more light last year, it didn't bloom. Hence, we've got this burning here, which is a shame. But in the shade now, again, I don't know if I'll get it to bloom. But with colors like this, as they grow, I'll forgive it. I'm keeping it anyway. <laughs> and another one that I grow in memory of very, very happy, happy times. My children and I lived in a property that uh, my son actually found and picked out in an area I never expected to live. It had gorgeous, gorgeous views over to the med, right on a golf course, it was perfect. And I had a balcony and I had my whole house basically in white. So on my balcony terrace, all around the balcony, I grew this beautiful plant I do have the name somewhere I don't remember it off by heart but this is just gorgeous this is now already the second flush of flowers that I have for this year I've already cut it back once and it's so beautiful with its silver foliage it is so tactile so soft I love it I absolutely love it and these pristine pristine white flowers they only last a day but they bloom prolifically, so you got all those bloom nubbins still to go. But I just wanted to show that in case you see something in the background one day. Now you know. My dendrobium community mount, where three dendrobiums grow. So the aphyllum is doing really well with all the new growth shooting out. It's finished its blooming now. But the new growths are coming on really, really nicely. I'm loving it. What I do want to show you, however, is not just that, but look at here. I have quite a number of buds coming on a Dendrobium Ciraula. So I am thinking that this is the Ciraula that is actually going to bloom because on this mount, I also have Ceratolabium, but I'm not I do not recognize these buds at all. And I I'm strongly, strongly believe these are the Saraula ones coming because it's more of a green plant 
as you can see all these growths and ceratolabium is this scrawny stick thing that's going on in here they were sent to me by orchid man and he thought that they all belonged together and they were all separate sticks it turns out that they were actually two different plants so there you go i I didn't know at the time and I just chucked them on at the same time together with my ophyllum and I thought, well, you guys all need the same care. You can all live together on one mount. So Dendrobium cerola is in bud and they've been allocated to one of you and eventually we'll find out who that is. This makes it so much more fun for me, watching buds grow, knowing exactly who I've allocated them to and then seeing your comments at the same time, that yeah, gives me a bit of a smile. <laughs> so that's Dendrobium cerola, got buds. Awesome. Just a quick look at my Victoria Regina. Doing beautifully, but I think she's gonna do it again. Right there. There's more coming. So that is very much appreciated. Thank you, Victoria. You're gorgeous. Even though you don't have a fragrance, you're gorgeous. And who is this? Who is this coming out of their own? This is my um, Rupiculus, one of the Rupiculus Lelias that I grow. It's Lelia Flava. And she is the one I was really worried about out of all of them. No roots to speak of. Massive dehydration on the leaves. We're going down, down, declining. Two leaves have been lost since I showed my Rupiculus Lelia video. But look at that white streak right in there. And look at that growth right over here. We are on our way. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Wasn't that a Shrek movie? <laughs> Donkey, maybe? So, wanted to bring that to your attention because I am very pleased. There's more roots going on over here. And I can see all the root nubbins coming in underneath there. Let me just see that I focus. There we go. Right in there, we've got root nubbins going down. Lelia flower is going to be okay. And what, pray tell, are we gawking at here? And why does this warrant a short clip? Well, it's my relief at seeing signs of root growth on my Cydenfadenia mitrata. This is very, very important because A, there was a foul odor coming out of that pot with those dangly roots probably decaying. If they are, this is, gonna, this is great news. Regardless of if they are decaying or not, we're gonna be okay if I can keep this root going. All the other ones are, have not started extending yet. Not surprised. Cydenfidenia mitrata is a fussy one with roots. So this, for me, is gold. I'm so pleased. Okay. Trying to get past the leaves to get it in focus. Yes, I know. It's a root. Yay. No, but yippee. For me, yippee. So, possibly the foul odor in the pot is the algae dying off because now there's no light and the roots are okay. Either way, we're on our way because this root shows me something is going to be all right. It's going to adapt somehow. And then we'll see. In the meantime, I have lost a spike, but I'm not surprised considering what this orchid has had to deal with, my lack of judgment for two years. So we've lost a spike, but that's okay. Not too concerned about that. Even if I lose all the spikes, these roots are fundamental. If I don't see any other progress or something, I may forfeit all but one spike. There's three more to go. And then we'll see what happens. And it's getting noisy again. So I'm just gonna sign off really quick. 
Yeah, Landa Denisoniana, dark chocolate star. Yeah, it's on its way out, this spike. Don't be fooled. Look at that. The third one for this year. One after the other so far. Incredible. Very excited. <laughs> but uh, certainly a first for this orchid. And here is Lelia purpurata vacheuseriae, crossed with self. And I got this from Cattleya Blue on eBay many, many years ago. And it was a pretty decent plant quality-wise. We've had a little bit of progress. Eventually, now we have a sheath, which is absolutely fabulous. Why we are looking at this sheath? Look at that. I think that is absolutely amazing and I am very happy. So what I'm gonna do now is just put it back in its place and pretend I never saw them. And now the breeze is kicking up and I've got a car on idle in the background for the last five minutes. It all happens in one go, doesn't it? But I'm just gonna sign off now with a little look at my Vanda. The blooms are still doing well, considering she was out in the rain, and then there's a shy bloom up there. But this is Lavender Mist Louie, and Louie and I say thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of an update. If you have other questions about other orchids that you've seen in my videos and want to know more about those and need an update on them because I'm not catching up, then uh, please let me know. I'll be happy to throw in a clip here and there. It's a busy season this time of year with the orchids. There's a lot going on, even though it appears slow, but there's movement and that is what I'd like to document. So ask away. I'll be happy to accommodate. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Bye.